Rutherford scattering. Let's derive a result that's still important in modern physics. We are looking at a fixed target, a charged particle, that interacts with a projectile via force F proportional to the inverse radius squared. In the diagram shown, we have the usual quantities, V the impact parameter, P the incoming momentum, P prime is the outgoing momentum, angle theta is the scatter angle, then we have a unit vector U which is defined in the direction of the closest approach. Then we can define the position of our projectile by angle psi, which measures angular position of the particle with respect to the unit vector u. Our job is to find differential cross-section d sigma over d omega, which we previously found to be b divided by sine angle theta times db d theta. We need to express theta in terms of angle psi. First of all, let's define angle psi at times after the collision to be equal to psi naught. Then we can see that 2 times angle psi naught plus angle theta should add up to 180 degrees. Thus, we can write that angle psi naught is related to theta as pi over 2 minus theta over 2. Let's consider the diagram that involves the momenta before and after the scattering event. Before the scattering event, we have momentum P. After the scattering event, we have momentum P prime, which has the same amplitude as P, since the process is elastic. The angle between these two is given by theta. And then the change in momentum, delta P, is as shown. Note that delta P is parallel to the unit vector U. Using this diagram, we can write the length of delta P. We know that if we put normal, onto delta P, we will get that the magnitude of delta P will be 2 times P times sine of theta over 2. This is our first relation that gives us delta P in terms of angle theta. Alternatively, we can write the change in momentum as an integral of the force acting in the direction u, f sub u, over all the time. So this integral will be from minus infinity to plus infinity. The force of u is the force in the u direction, which we can see is equal to the force k over r squared times the cosine psi, angle psi that points to the particle. Note that we are not interested in the integral with respect to time. Rather, we are interested in expressing it as an integral with respect to angle psi. We can write the differential dt in terms of differential of angle d psi divided by d psi divided by dt. Or as d psi divided by psi dot. Since m r squared times psi dot is the angular momentum, and it's a constant, we can write it in terms of the initial value, which is simply momentum times the impact parameter b. Therefore, we can write that differential dt is given as d psi divided by b p over m r squared. Therefore, we can rewrite the integral 
from angle of minus psi naught to psi naught of the force, which is k cosine of psi divided by r squared times d psi over bp divided by m r squared. Now that we have some fortuitous cancellations here, namely r squared cancels, and then we can write this integral as k times m divided by b p times 2 sine of the angle psi naught. Since angle psi naught can be written in terms of angle theta, we use it to get the following expression for delta p, k times m divided by bp times 2 cosine of theta over 2. So this second expression should give us the same as the first expression we found previously. Equating the two, we find b in terms of the angle and all the parameters in the problem to be equal k times m divided by p squared times cosine theta over 2 divided by sine theta over 2 or we write it as k divided by mv squared where v is the initial velocity of the projectile times cotangent of angle theta over 2. Now we are ready to find the differential cross-section using the formula above and we get that d sigma over d omega or it's going to be 1 over let's try and sine theta in terms of half angle it's going to be 2 sine theta over 2 times cosine theta over 2 then we put the expression for b k over mv squared cotangent of theta over 2 times k over mv squared and then from the absolute value of the derivative we get 1 over 2 sine squared of theta over 2. Note that mv squared is just twice the initial kinetic energy or the full energy and so we can write differential cross-section as d sigma over d omega as coefficient k divided by 4 times energy times sine squared of theta over 2 and this whole expression squared. This expression gives us the differential cross-section and it's known as Rutherford scattering cross-section formula.